What's up mga kasetis? Kaya ngayon po ay may bago po ako vlog po para sa inyo. Dagdag kaalaman na rin about sa bisikleta nag, kasi nagre-refresh po ako. So ito po yung ano ba yung kaibahan ng mechanical disc brake at saka yung hydraulic disc brake na pang bicycle touring at bike parking at ano ba ang mga kaibahan nitong dalawa. So bago po po tayo magsimula, ah, bago po po tayo magsimula, ano, mag-intro po muna tayo. Okay? And so, nagbabalik na po tayo mga kasiklista. So, in a nutshell pala, itong tinatawag na mechanical versus hydraulic disc brake. So, ano ba yung pagkakaibahan ng dalawa? Ano yung difference ng dalawa? So, ito pala yung mechanical disc brake ay easier to maintain yourself but require more maintenance generally. Powerful, powerful enough for most touring application. So, ibig sabihin pala ay madali lang pala itong maintain kung ikaw lang ang nag-ahis ito at saka pero require more maintenance generally. So, in general po. At saka more on at saka powerful enough pang touring application. Yun po talaga yung mechanical disc brake. More of an on and off brake feel very unlikely to fail in remote areas so parang mag parang hindi siya gaano ka ganda doon sa mga remote areas na hindi na natin uh, na ano sa mga lugar di ba so at saka at saka typically cheaper siya mas mura lang also uh, although not so much these days so mahirap na pala hanapin itong mechanical disc brake kasi ano Uh, parang hindi nagaano siya kasikat di ba so at saka pero yung na, pero nakagandahan niya kasi mura lang talaga siya mura mura lang mura mura lang po ito mechanical disc brake so ito namang hydraulic disc brake so ito self adjusting and low in maintenance so low in maintenance po siya usually di ba okay low in maintenance sa uh, more powerful more effortless braking so mas powerful talaga siya at saka effortless yung pagbe-brake niya kasi uh, ano talagang na, nag-hold nag talaga siya nang ma, ma, nag-hold talaga siya nang ano talaga kapag nagbe-brake ka na at saka gradual power delivery so meron siyang power delivery at saka may cylinder siya piston and general oil leaks can render brakes useless and also perform better than mechanical brakes as the conditions get worse system system is sealed so clearly these brakes have prevailed and for a great reason so meron pong reasons okay meron pong mga reasons ang this brake Um, you get better braking performance especially in the wet and or muddy conditions. So ano ba ibig sabihin nito? Um, ang ibig sabihin nito ay parang ano, uh, you get better braking you get better braking performance. So mas maganda talaga siya, mas maganda yung performance niya lalo-lalo po sa mga wet and muddy o sa mga trail lalo-lalo na kapag mountain bike ang gamit niyo na pang touring bike or bike packing. So Your kasunod naman ay itong your rims theoretically last forever as they are not wo worn down by the brake pads. So ang ibig sabihin nito ay ang rims magtatagal siya as they are worn down by the brake pads. Yung ano brake pads na yung kumakapit po sa yung kumakapit po sa disc brake yung sa yung sa disc yung plaka, okay? At saka yung at saka ito, your brake pads will last much much longer in the equivalent riding condition so ibig sabihin nito ay magtatagal siya ng mas lalo pa mas lalo so hindi na forever mas lalo pa talaga at saka much longer na rin sa equivalent during riding condition so bike touring or bike parking at saka yung condition mo sa ride parang 
ano parang may kasabayan po ng kondisyon po ng panahon either either ano maulan siya mainit wet and muddy na mga daan di ba so at saka meron siyang additional type clearance so meron po siyang meron po siyang additional na clearance po sa gulong yung kanyang ang tawag dito disc brake so iyon po ang kagandahan so dito na po tayo sa dito na po tayo sa the case for hydraulic disc brake so Hydraulic disc brakes have a fluid. So, meron po itong fluid inside the brake line. Much like those in a car or a motorbike. When you pull the brake lever, the fluid rushes down to the caliper. So, closing the brake pad. At saka, this type of brake line is sealed away from the element. So, they tend to work well in any riding conditions. Ano ba ibig sabihin ito? Ito po lang hydraulic disc brake. Ah, mayroon siyang fluid doon sa brake lines niya. Yung, yung ano niya, ah, tawag doon, yung parang ano, housing niya do, doon sa loob ng housing. At saka, much like din, much like pala kapariho din pala ito sa mga, sa mga motorbike at, sa mga, at saka sa mga kotse. Kasi meron din nalagyan, meron din, meron din naman kasi brake fluid yung sasakyan, di ba? Meron brake fluid, so yun po yung gamit nila. So yun po. At saka, isa pa dito, uh, ano pa yun? So kapag ipopull mo na ang brake lever, ang fluid ay rushes down to the caliper. So yun po yung ibig sabihin. Uh, pumapasok po yung, pumapasok po yung fluid or mineral oil pa ado uh, doon sa kasi doon sa brake, doon sa brake, meron kasi parang ano diyan na ilalagay mo kapag naglalagay ka ng fluid or mineral oil. At saka closing na rin sa brake pag i-close sa brake pad para hindi siya tumulo. So yun po yun po yung ibig sabihin. So uh, either is up to you kung ano yung pagkakarinig nyo. Yun, yun na rin po yung aking ano. So this type of brake line naka sealed away para doon sa mga elements para mag para mag work sila in any riding condition so kailangan talaga uh, kailangan talaga i-sealed siya doon sa mga elements so ibig sabihin nung parang ano parang talagang pinagbosisian gawin itong hydraulic brake para hindi siya mag to work sa mga riding conditions yun po so big advantage naman sa mga users ay yung pads wear so ito so yung pads wear yung parang ano di ba yung nasa uh, kumakapit na sa kumakapit na sa disc yun po yun at saka yung pistons move inward so in parang hindi ko alam so keeping the same pad to rotor clearance. Ah, yung pala nasa rotor, yun pala yung, nasa, yun pala yung piston niya. So, this self-adjustment means they require less tinkering, uh, tinkering to keep them running well. O, para hindi tumulo. So, yun po yun. Ibig sabihin, self-adjustment. So, pwede naman mag-self-adjustment, mag, mag diba? So, so, originally, uh, hesitant traveling with hydraulic disc brakes on a multi-year bike trip so yung author pala nag yung author pala isiner niya yung kanyang isiner yung kanyang ano ang karanasan bilang gumagamit ng hydraulic brakes so, ito po yung sinasabi niya I was originally a little hesitant traveling with a hydraulic brakes all my multi-year bike trip so matagal na po siya nagbabike touring or bike parking at ito pa yung sinasabi niya as I have the propensity to disappear into remote areas with poor weather conditions, I also don't like working on my bike if I don't have to. But Koga assured me that Shimano XT brakes had been working reliably for the customers. So, I took the work to make I could always switch to mechanical brakes if I needed. So, so, i-explain ko po sa inyo yung karanasan niya. So, ano, hesitant pala siya, little hesitant siya nag, magta-travel um, through bikepacking or 
uh, bike touring sa kanyang hydraulic disc brakes sa kanyang mga multi-year bike trips kasi meron siyang propensity na mag-disappear into the remote areas with poor weather so ibig sabihin yung mga remote areas na yung mga remote areas na ano parang malayo na sa city di ba yung mga yung mga forest na hindi mo na alam kung saan ka na at saka ang ang weather ay hindi rin maganda di ba so sabi dito poor weather conditions so hindi maganda yung weather so yun po yung ibig sabihin niya at saka hindi rin uh, as sabi niya dito I also don't like working on my bike if I don't have to so ibig sabihin hindi siya ga, hindi siya gaano nag nag nagbo work sa kanyang bike kung hindi niya gusto so yun po yung ibig sabihin pero yung koga so ano yung ito yung koga parang bike ito bike ito na ginagamit niya itong koga assured nga ang shima, na sabi niya dito ang koga na bike yung yung ano manufacturer or manufacturer siguro nag assure nga ang nag assure sila na yung Shimano XT na brakes ay had been working re reliably for their customers so ibig sabihin po ginawa nila ng mabuti ang Shimano XT na brakes itong hydraulic hydraulic disc brake po ito na Shimano XT <coughs> so so ginawa niya yung words okay. so I took the words so ibig sabihin po natiwala siya natiwala siya sa Shimano XT na brakes at check at ma figure din niya na I could always wish to mechanic mechanical brake if I did so so ano parang ano pinag isipan talaga niya mabuti na para ano kung mag shift ba siya kung mag kung mag switch ba siya always to mechanical disc brakes kung kinakailangan niya so ito pa yung sinasabi niya turns out my Shimano XT brakes have been fantastic so ibig sabihin pala ibig sabihin ito ay uh, parang nagustuhan niya yung nagustuhan niya yung performance na performance ng Shimano XT na hydraulic brake so hydraulic brakes simply have more power than mechanical brakes so ito mas maganda po kasi yung hydraulic kasi kesa sa mechanical brake so pero ano ba talaga ang kaibahan so ito pang sabi niya but additionally they usually have a more modulated feel too so may pagka modulate din pala itong disc brake let me turn this brake so it means na pwede siya makapag ramp up to the braking power at a more measured pace so yun po at ito pa yung sinasabi niya I did have to bleed a rear brake early on as it must have been a bit dodgy from the factory so ibig sabihin magbi bleed uh, na, na ano tawag dun ah uh, this ah uh, kalimutan ko ano yung kalimutan ko yung pangalan yung pangalan ni eh, basta ano na nag uh, nag na had uh, brake bleeding ah uh, yung tawag ng brake bleeding pala sa kanyang rear brake so ibig sabihin rear so, ibig sabihin rear brake ay yung harap di ba yung harap at uh, yun yun ibig sabihin niya doon sa factory otherwise di ba so i bleed my uh, dito ba siya sabi niya dito I bleed my brakes once every 12 to 18 months and swap my pads when they were out. I went through just five sets of brake pads in South America, which is pretty incredible given the terrain. So, ibig sabihin nito, nagbi-bleed siya ng brake every 12 to 8 months. At saka magsaswap din na siya, magsaswap din siya ng pads kung tatanggalin niya. Ako, ako kung matatanggal na yung, yung pad niya, yung brake pad. Yung parang ano, Uh, ano tawag do parang maliit na rectangular katulad na lang na tawag dito Wapa, ito ito parang katulad na ng baterya ng action camera para pero meron po siyang marang ano dito si papakita po sa inyo yung picture ng brake pad okay so at saka doon siya doon siya, uh, so sabi niya dito I uh, went through just five sets of brake pads in South America so po, nung pumunta so nung pumunta siya ng South America uh, nagdala siya ng five sets of brake pads so 
maintenance talaga. So, dami maintenance ng hydraulic brakes. So, which is pretty incredible given the terrain. So, yun po, yun po yung kanyang opinion niya. Maganda yung opinion din niya. Pretty incredible given for the terrain. So, at hyd sabi din niya dito, at hydraulic brakes can have issues with oil leaks. So, mag-leak din pala itong hydraulic brakes and brake bleeds from the factory. So, ibig sabihin yung factory, yung, yung nasa pagkapit mo ng brake, di ba? Yun po yun. I recommended, sabi niya dito, sabi niya dito, I recommended using your brakes for a minimum for a minimum of 3 months before going rogue. Going rogue. So, ang rogue pala ay spy. Ayan po. This should iron out any kink and give you confidence that your system will work what advertised. So, ibig sabihin nito ay may mga issue talaga din itong hydraulic brakes with oil leaks and brake leaks from the factory. So, nag-recommend siya na using your brakes for a minimum of 3 months before going ro going rogue, spy, or uh, papunta ka na sa papuntahan mo within, or by path no, or nagbabike packing ka or bike to ring. So, yun po. Dito naman tayo sa the case for mechanical disc brakes. So, mechanical disc brakes use stainless and steel cables. So, steel yung cable niya at saka stainless, stain, stainless yung brake niya. So, between the lever and caliper, Resulting in a very simple brake system. So, madali lang ito mechanically. So, hindi ka na mahihirapan talaga kasi ako, as a mechanical brake user, pero hindi po this, pero hindi this brake po siya. Mechanical lang siya at saka naka-mechanical lang yung brake ko at saka naka-v-brake lang. So, ang, sab ang sabi din dito sa kanya, kasi isa itong, isa itong, ano eh, isa itong page out, uh, website, itong ano, at saka ililink ko below yung kanyang iba pang karanasan. So, isang, isa po itong, meron din po itong YouTube channel, itong ano, uh, kinuhanan ko na ano, source dito sa research ko sa vlog ko ngayon. Okay? So, ito po pala siya. Ito yung mga sinasabi niya pa. Mechanical brakes uses stainless steel cables between the, the lever and caliper. Resulting in a very simple brake system, replacement inner and outer cables can be found in any bike shop in the world, and they're easy to change yourself, de ba? So ako kinaya na ko ito, ako lang at minsan ako anag ayos ang aking brake, ik ako anag papalit. So yun po, and also which is why I long recommended mechanical disc brakes for touring and bike packing. So ito po, to na. So, ito po na. So, explain ko ito mabuti, okay? Uh, deep explanation po ito as a mechanical brake user. Pero hindi po mechanical disc brake yung bike ko. Wala po siyang disc. Mechanical lang siya at saka mechanical lang at naka V-brake lang siya. O, or rim brake. So, yun po siya. So, para para sa akin, ano, Minsan, ano, minsan, meron ding technical, yung meron ding technical ang pagkagamit ng mechanical brake. At saka, minsan, masasabi ko rin na mas okay siya kesa sa disc brake. Kasi yung disc brake talaga, medyo uh, may pagka-thingy lang talaga yung disc brake para sa akin. So, at saka, parang ano, so, ang sabi, ang sabi kasi niya dito, di ba? Di ba, sinabi niya, uh, ano dito? <coughs> Excuse me. Ang sabi niya dito, replacement inner and outer cables can be found in any bike shop in the world and they're easy to change for yourself. So, ibig sabihin niya, dali, madali lang ang pag-replace po ng inner and outer cables dito sa aking bike. <laughs> dito, i-refer ko siya sa bike ko. Oh. So, replacement inner and outer cables can be found in any bike shop. So, in any bike shop, pagkikita mo na itong, itong, mechanical, itong mechanical brakes. So, hindi, hindi ko sinasabi ng disc brake kasi nag-refer po ako sa, ano, nag-refer po ako sa, tawag ito, uh, mechanical lang, mechanical lang na brake na naka-rim or V-brake. So, which is why, sabi niya dito, 
I've long recommended mechanical disc brakes for touring in bike parking kasi hindi po hassle yung mechanical disc brakes. So yung iba mga yung iba mga bike naka mechanical disc naka mechanical siya brake pero naka disc siya. Disc brake po siya. So sabi pa niya dito sa sabi pa niya dito sa mechanical disc brake kaso yung case ng mechanical disc brake ay adapted Avid DB7. So, ano pa natin yung BB7? So, i-re-resource ko po ito. Uh, B, ah, ibig sabihin nito, BB, Avid BB7 Brakes for Touring back in 2012. So, uh, gumamit siya ng Avid BB7 Brakes for Touring noong 2012 noong nagbabay touring siya. And while they, were, they weren't the highest performing brakes available, they were plenty powerful for touring, especially with large rotor. So, may meron pa meron pa pala mga iba pa magaganda na mga magaganda mga brakes available na may highest per performance at saka napaka plenty yung at saka, at saka plenty of powerful na pang touring talaga especially kung may mga malaki mga rotors. So, sabi pa niya dito, but more importantly, they were a foolproof brake system. Meron pa, pa rin full proof brake system. So lubricating the inner and outer cables was easy and it almost always brought my brakes back to their on and off brake bite after feeling a bit gunky. So ibig, pa, ibig pala sabihin nito, uh, pwede pa rin lagyan ng lubricate, lubric, lu, lu, lubricant, pwede pa rin lagyan ng lubricant yung inner and outer cables was, was easy. Uh, mas was easy yo uh, mas pa, uh, parang eh, ang ibig sabihin ay ano talaga parang madali lang at saka always brought my brakes back to the on and off brake so ibig sabihin almost na niyang ma makapagbait doon sa brake on and off and also feeling a bit gunky so a gunky uh, hindi ko alam kung ano yung gunky pero I uh, consider lang natin na ano siya parang a little bit gunky parang ano parang hindi no hindi ko na ano eh so skip na po tayo so meron pa dito one thing meron pa sinasabi niya meron pa sinasabi niya dito one thing I found a bit annoying was the need for constant adjustment as my brake pads would wear I would need to add cable tension this was done easily by adjusting the barrel adjuster. What I found me, what I found I needed to make fine adjustments at the at the Avid BB7 caliper 2 or my brakes would drop. So ibig sabihin pala niya ay one thing I found parang mas annoying was the need for constant adjustment. So mga constant constantly adjustment ang ibig sabihin niya at saka as my brake pads would wear so parang ano parang lumuwag di ba yung brake pad niya so i would need to add cable tension so tawag doon parang ano parang higpitan pa yung parang kailangan pang higpitan yung cable para mayro siyang adjustment kapag ano kapag ina kapag nagbe-brake ka di ba so this was that easily Ah, was, oh, okay, dito po. This was done easily by adjusting the barrel adjuster. So, uh, uh, i-adjust lang yung barrel adjuster niya. Uh, madali lang naman. Yung barrel, uh, hindi ko makikita, hindi ko alam ko ano yung barrel adjuster. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Kung alam niyo po yung barrel adjuster, so, so consider niya alam niyo na, di ba? Pero sa akin, bago ha, pagkasi ako kasi hindi ko pa ito alam kasi hindi po ako naka-disc brake. Pero, na found, pero, pero found niya needed to make fine adjustment also. So, kailangan din pala niya mag-adjust doon sa Avid BB7 caliper. So, it's okay. At saka, at saka para mag, para mag-grab yung brakes niya doon sa disc. Yun po yung ibig sabihin niya. So, dito pa sinasabi niya, my TRP spire disc brakes required a little less in hearing as both brake pads pulled inwards at the same time but still the inner brake pads always work quicker than the outer pads 
So, caliper adjustment is inevitable. So, meron pala siya, meron pala siya TRP spire disc brakes at saka nag-require po siya ng little less tinkering as both brake as both yung dalawang brake pads pulled inwards at the same time. Pero yung inner brake pads niya ay always quick, always wear quicker than the outer pads. So, yung caliper niya So, yung California adjustment ay inevitable. So, inevitable parang tawa dito, parang invisible? <laughs> hindi ko alam. Yun ang inevitable. So, mga bago talagang word ngayon. So, hindi natin alam. So, <laughs> research, research din tayo pag may time. So, ito na naman po tayo. So, nandito na po tayo sa What about the hydromechanical combo brake? Pwede ba yun? Combo? Combo brake? Hydro and Mechanical. Okay. Tingnan natin. So, sabi niya dito, as well as these brakes do work. Okay. Work, nagbo-work din pala itong brakes na ito. I feel like you're better off a, you, I feel like you're better off letter A. Getting the full hydro system so that the cables are more wearing, are more weather resistant. Or letter B, going for a simplified mechanical system. Okay, these combo brakes are a bit heavier and have the same cable friction loses as a mechanical brake. So, ibig sabihin niya ay, as well as, these brakes talaga ay nagbo-work. So, I feel like you're better, you're better off kung nasa letter A ka, kukuha ka ng full hydro system. So, kukuha ka ng full hydro system. So, para yung cables ay more weather resistant. So, or kung letter B naman, dito ka naman sa simple at uh, simplified mechanical system. ba? Diba? Combo brakes, a bit heavier. So, combo brakes, ibig sabihin ay may pagka, ano, mabigatin din. Uh, hindi naman gaano. At saka, meron siyang same cable friction na rin. Loses as a mechanical brake. So, yun po siya. At saka, they're not a bad idea for a bike upgrade. However, for example, if you currently have integrated drop bar shifters and mechanical disc brakes, you can swap in some combo calipers which will give you more braking power and a self-adjusting hydro piston. So, ibig sabihin pala niya ay hindi naman masama ma hindi naman sa ma yung idea sa pag-upgrade mo ng brake, di ba? However, so, for example, again, okay, kung naka-currently naka-integrated drop bar ka na shifter and mechanical brakes, yung mga tawag ito, yung mga road bike or gravel, ay, yung mga gravel bike. So, for example, gravel bike or road bike. So, nakasabi sabi dito, may, may, ah, uh, If you sabi dito, ha, if you currently have integrated drop bar shifters and mechanical disc brakes, you can swap in some combo calipers. So, pwede mo siya i-swap into combo calipers which will magbibigay sa iyo ng more braking power at saka self-adjusting hydro piston. So, dito na naman tayo sa brake pad. So, ano, malapit na tayo matapos. <laughs> okay. So, do not under underestimate the importance of brake pads. So, they come in two main compounds. So, resin. Ito po yung resin ay also known as organic or semi-metallic which combines together various fibers. Ang metal naman ay sintered which are made made from metallic particles that have been used together. So, sabi din niya dito na I generally like using sintered brake pads for touring because they last longer especially in wet or muddy conditions and they manage heat very well on long distance. I found sintered pads are a bit less common to find in bike shops around the world so I often stock up on them when I can. So, ibig sabihin pala niya ay generally po kung magamit po siya ng sintered brake pads pang touring kasi nagtatagal talaga siya especially na sa mga wet and muddy conditions at saka nagmamanage din siya ng mainit very well sa mga long distance at saka 
at saka sabi niya dito, I found tinted pads are a bit less common to find in bike shops. So, ibig sab around the world. So, ibig sabihin, um, hindi gaano, hindi gaano kasikat itong tinted pads kasi hindi, hindi siya, hindi talaga siya makikita sa mga bike shops around the world. So, so nag i stock na lang siya at saka nag i stock na lang siya ng mga spare na mga tinted pads when i when he can so so ito naman yung resin brake pads are made from softer materials than tinted brake pads so they often run quieter as dust and other contaminants can cause brake pads to stick to squeal resin pads are usually best for dry regions some people prefer the brake feel of resin pads too as they can have a bit more initial bite. So, ibig sabihin pa nito, yung resin pads pala I made from softer materials than center brake pads and then often why often run quite quieter kapag, ano, hindi siya maingay kapag nag kapag nag-break ka na. At saka yung dust, at saka yung dust in other contaminants niya can cause brake pads to spin. So, Mag-iingay talaga siya kapag nalagyan po ng dust, mga contaminant, at saka yung mga maliliit na bato na pumapasok po sa brake. Brake pad. So, yun po. So, dito po sa resin na brake pad. So, may iba pang mga, ano, may iba pang mga tao na prefer yung brake with a resin pad. So, so yung napansin ko kay Archie, Bo Idol Archie in, um, in TV Ride. So, para yung yung ginagamit mo ay parang resin brake pads kasi sabi dito can cause brake pads to squeal yung maiingay, di ba? yung umiingay siya so napansin ko yung sa mga ride mo, umiingay siya so I think resin brake pads yung gamit mo so sabi pa niya dito ideally, you shouldn't mix brake pad compounds on the same rotor, so ibig sabihin po hindi mo siya, hindi, hindi, hindi mo siya pwede i-mix yung brake pad compound at saka yung same rotor. So, this is because brake pads deposit a small layer of particles on the rotor. So, you essentially contaminate the brakes when you mix pads. That said, I switch between centered and written when that's my only choice and I found it only reduces the performance a bit. So, so sabi niya rito, um, I switch between centered and written. Uh, parang ano parang nagmix yung yung kabila centered kabila, yung kabila centered yung kabila resin so ito po yung result niya and I found it only reduces the performance a bit so okay lang siya may nagreduce siya sa performance niya so one thing to note din many different brake bands use their own brake pads if you are traveling through low income countries the most common pads available are always Shimano and SRAM sa kanyang experience mo. So, uh, so, for, ano, so, para, for explanation, ito po yung, ano niya, for explanations, ay, maraming mga brands ng mga brake pads. Katulad ng Shimano and SRAM. So, meron din, meron din Shimano na brake pads, meron din SRAM na brake pads. So, at saka, ano, most common talaga itong dalawa sa kanyang experience. So, meron din, so, meron din dito number of pistons. So, meron din po lang piston itong bike, di ba? So, these calipers employ pistons on either side of the rotor. Two pistons. So, push the pad inwards. Okay, so push siya. But four and six piston calipers are also available. With more pistons, manufacturers can create brake pads with additional surface area to clamp on the rotor. And therefore, stop your bike, stop your bike quicker. You'll find four piston brakes on most gravity-oriented mountain bikes, but they're also popular on tandem. So, ibig sabihin pala nito ay meron din palang mga iba't iba mga piston itong, itong sa disc brake. So, ito po siyang meron, two piston, meron siyang two piston to push the pad, eh, push, pag push yung pad inwards, papasok, di ba? At saka meron yung 4 and 6 piston calipers available. With more pistons, manufacturers can create brake pads. So, mar marami pa mga nagmamanufacture ng mga pistons na pang bike, di ba? So, at saka, additional surface area to clamp on the rotor. And therefore, stop your bike quicker. 
at saka popular na siya on tandem. So, rotor and piston. So, iisa na po siya. The downside to 4 or 6 piston brakes for travelers is that the brake pads are much less likely to be found in shops. So, you'll need to bring a few sets of pads from home when you travel. So, merong so, ibig sabihin ito, kailangan mo mag kailangan mo magdala na spare na piston at saka rotor. Ibig sabihin ito. Sabi ba? Ibig sabihin uh, dito, sabi, sabi niya dito, oh, brake for traveler, downside to 4 or 6 piston, brake for traveler, 4 to 6 piston, uh, 4 to 6, 4 or 6 piston brake sa mga nagtatravel, so bike touring or bike parking para yung brake pads niya are much less likely to be found in shop. So, kapag ano, well, kapag nasira yung piston mo, so, ipapakita mo sa nagkasala kung meron ba silang piston. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin nito. At saka, you need to bring a few sets of pads na rin from home when you travel. So, need to bring an extra pair of brake pads kapag nagbabike touring ka or nagbabike packing. Rotor sizes. Meron po lang mga rotor sizes. So, there are three common rotor sizes for touring in bike packing. 160mm, 180mm, and 200mm. So, by increasing the rotor size, you achieve more leverage at the caliper which results in more braking power. The largest surface area of the rotor offers between heat dissipation to longer for distance. So, ibig sabihin pa nito, increasing yung motor size niya, ma-achieve mo yung leverage doon sa caliper which nagre-resulta po siya na more braking on, pa, more on braking power. So, the larger surface of the rotor, nag-offer siya ng better heat dissipation to or longer distance. So, ibig sabihin po kapag umiinit na yung dissipation niya na kapag nakahawak mo siya, so, longer distance na siya, dissipation, uh, heat, dissipation to low, to for longer distance. So, generally speaking, sabi niya dito, a, a heavier rider bike luggage will require more braking power than someone who is lighter. But if you're riding steep mountain roads, using a 180mm or larger rotor, diameter will be ideal, no matter your weight. So, ibig sabihin pa nito, Heavier po na rider, bike, and luggage will require, nag-require talaga siya ng more braking power than someone who is lighter. So, ibig sabihin nito parang ano parang nag-require siya ng mas lighter. Nag-require siya ng mas, nag-require siya ng mas lighter na braking power kapag, kapag mabigat yung rider at saka yung bike at saka yung luggage na, dila, na dinadala niya habang na bike touring or bike packing yun po ibig sabihin but ito pa sila sabi kapag nagraride kapag nagraride ka naman sa mga steep mountain roads at ginagamit mo yung 180mm or large rotor diameter will be ayan no matter your weight so wala nang ano paki sa weight using 180mm or large rotor diameter will be ideal. So, so for mechanical disc brake naman, I ini-recommend niya going up a rotor size to help it to stop on a dime. On a touring bike, 180mm or even 200mm will get you closer to hydraulic brake bike. So, ibig sabihin ito sa mga mechanical, sa mga naka mechanical disc brake bike, uh, gusto niyong i-recommend going up doon sa rotor size para mag-help siya to stop on a dime. Sa mga touring bike, ang gagamitin, ang gagamitin ng mga rotor ay itong 180mm or 200mm will get you closer na rin doon sa mga hydraulic na brake bike. So, ito po tayo sa mounting type. The most common mounting type for this brake is called post mount and it's found on 99.9% of mountain bikes. Sabi niya dito, I generally prefer this mount type for touring in bike packing. As you can easily install big 180mm and 200mm rotors to stop your large bike. So, ibig sabihin nito. So, sa mga most common 
mga mountain bike for this break ay tinatawag itong post mount and it's found on 99.10% so sa mga mountain bikes at saka sabi din, sabi din niya I generally prefer this mounting type for touring and bike packing para mas easily makapag-install makapag-install ng malaking malaking mounting type uh, mount, ma, uh, malaking rotor to stop your loaded bike so ito po yung mga 180 mm and 203 so the flat mount type of caliper is becoming more prevalent, prevalent especially especially in the gravel bike category is essentially a more compact caliper design that better suits the aesthetic of road bikes it is best for it has no adapters and is easy to set up with a perfectly aligned brake mount so ibig sabihin ito flat, flat mount type so sa mga calip na gumagamit po ng mga caliper ay becoming more prevalent na so especially po sa mga gravel bike category so, it, so kasi sa so mga ibang mga gravel bike kasi gumagamit po sila ng mga caliper hindi po hindi, hindi, uh, minsan lang po gumagamit ng disc brake itong mga road bike or gravel bike so at saka essentially more compact caliper design siya better source the aesthetic of road bikes so ito po talaga siya so best form it has no adapters is it easy to set up with a perfectly aligned brake mount so mas maganda kasi mas maganda kasi yung mount uh, mas madaling i-mount yung caliper kaysa sa disc so yun po, yun po yung mounting type niya but generically uh, but generally I find it harder to adjust a flat caliper for a couple of reasons ito po siya so, mas, mas nahihirapan pala siya mag adjust nung sa flat caliper for a couple of reasons so ito po yung sinasabi niya there is there is a disparity in distance between each bolt at the fork when using an adapter so one end of the caliper moves more than the other when you make small adjustments so yun, ano ibig sabihin ito so sabi pa na niya this, there is a disparity in distance between each bolt at the fork so parang distansya sa mga distance sa fork may, may distance between sa bolt at the fork kapag nagagamit ka ng adapter so one end of the caliper one end of the caliper uh, parang nagmove siya more than the other when you make small adjustment so kapag at saka the close bolt spacing can amplify any frame imperfections on the rear mount resulting in a higher chance of rubbing in particular with an adapter fitting so in addition some flat mount works Will, uh, will not allow you to use rotors bigger than 160 mm due to design constraints for example the surly 2021 surly disc tracker you need to check with the manufacturer to find out if 180 mm rotors will fit will fit doon sa 200 mm definitely will not yes, will not so, ibig, pala, ibig pala sabihin nito yung flat so sa addition po mga sound flat mount forks hindi po nag-allow hindi po nag-allow gumagamit po ng rotors bigger than 160mm due to at ngayon ay dito na po tayo sa disc brake wheel yung umiingay po yung mga disc brake wheel ang umiingay so meron po itong technical explanation so sabi niya dito we all know the truly evil sound that disc brakes can make so this brake noise comes from a few different sources but let's focus on a brand new already bedded brake setup so when you grab the bike uh, when you grab the brake the pads move a tiny bit forward and backwards in the caliper slipping and sticking on the rotor known as stick slip this causes small oscillations in the caliper which when transferred to the frame and other components like your spokes generating noise so meron pa dito we, the reason this brake seat is cool more in wet conditions is that water creates a bigger difference between sticking and slipping when you brake resulting in a higher amplification of noise 
तो एक्सप्लेनेशन सो अलम ना मनाते दी बाना ओ में इंगे तलागा यम ब्रेक यम इविल साउंड में तो दी बात मसाकित सा तेंगा यों दी बात सो दिस ब्रेक यम मगा दिस ब्रेक नोइसेस कम फ्रॉम ऑफ यू डिफरेंट सोर्सेस सो मरामिंग सोर्स सो सा एक्सपीरियंस को ये तो सा आकिंग रिम ब्रेक और सा वी ब्रेक ना na uh, experience parang ano nababasa siya kapag nababasa yung rims niya umiingay siya pag break so minsan naman kapag masyado namang masyado namang dry umiingay din para umiingay din pa rin siya so let's focus kung mag-focus ko sa mag-focus ka sa brand niyo na brake pad already bedded sa pump brake setup so ngayon Grab the brake, pad, move a tiny bit forward and backwards in a caliper sleeping and sticking on a rotor known as stick slip. <laughs> this causes small oscillations in the caliper which then transfer to the frame and other components like your spokes generating noise. So, pwede pala ito galing sa frame at saka sa spokes ang ingay. Nag-generate po siya ng ingay itong brake. Diba? This brake or disc brake man or rim brake v brake so yun po siya so may tinatawag nito na sleeping sticking sa rotor niya or sa v brake or rim brake na tinatawag na stick slip so so the reason din this brakes is well more doon sa mga wet conditions is that water creates a bigger difference between sticking and sleeping when you break resulting in a higher amplification of noise okay naranasan ko na rin naranasan ko na yan kapag nabasa yung gulong ko at saka tumutulo yung tubig sa rims at sa pag break ko talagang napakaingay at masakit po sa tinga mga kasikista so yun po ang ibig sabihin po ng squeal yung parang umiingay napakamasakit na medyo masakit sa tenga pero hindi na po pala ito sa bisikleta nangyayari meron po ito sa motor at sa mga kotse so yun po at saka minsan po yung ano yung bagong brake naglagay ka ng brake fluid bagong brake set up yun po umiingay pa rin yan katulad, din, katulad pa rin po ng mga sasaki mga kotse at saka mga motor umiingay pa rin siya hindi lang po yung bike ang umiingay pati na rin po sila so sabi ng iba uh, kapag bago ang brake setup mo bago uh, saka naglagay ka ng brake fluid so sabihin mo wow grabe pilitag brake mo ba yun bago na yung brake mo <laughs> so yan po yung ibig sabihin so ito sa galog po ay bagong bago yung brake mo ha napaka sticky yung napaka sticky ng ano niya napaka sticky ng brake niya bagong bago kaya umiingay ayun po yun mga bisikleta so meron pa dito meron pa dito a well designed brake system will eliminate the potential for noise by resonating at pure frequencies in the brake pads caliper and rotor this can then can be done by using different materials and shapes for the brake components. The aim is time to minimize the number of frequencies of each of the brake components ensuring they cannot sing together. A <laughs> well-designed brake system mag eliminate the potential na ano, uh, ingay sa resonating pure frequencies in the brake pad. So, meron na pala itong frequency, itong brake pad at sya ka caliper and rotor or sa mga V-brake, rim brake ng mga bisikleta. So, this can be done using different materials. So, ibig sabihin nito ay uh, ma mawawala, lito, mawawala lang itong ingan ito kapag gagamitan mo siya ng mga iba't ibang mga, mga materials and shapes para sa, para sa brake components niya. So, ang aim pala niya ay to minimize the number of frequency o sa ingay niya, sa brake components, ensuring they cannot sing together. <laughs> ibig sabihin pala, ibig pala sabihin pala ito na ensuring they cannot sing together yung hindi, yung hindi na mag-iingay. So, 
as it's not just the colorful and rotor that regenerates the noise, that, simply, that means that the same braking system can be noisy on one brake. But not another. I've actually heard some of frame manufacturers needing to stiffen the seat and change this to attenuate more noise. So, ibig sabihin nito, hindi lang pala yung caliper at saka rotor na nag-generate ng ingay. Ibig sabihin po ay meron din mga uh, same braking system kag binoisy sa isang bike, di ba? So, but not another. So, yung sinasabi ko, hindi lang pala sa rotor at saka caliper. Dito, dito lang pala sa mga normal na mga bike na ang ginagamit ay V-brake or rim brake. Yan po siya. So, yun po. At saka, in the last 3 years sa pagtuturing nitong taong nito, so, sa taong na ito, na nag, yung author po nito, na gumawa po ng gumawa po ng vlog vlog po ng BLOG okay in the last 3 years of touring I've already have Shimano XT brakes squeal in particularly wet condition so na experience na rin niya itong Shimano XT brakes nga nag umiingay sa mga particular na mga wet condition so they were also noisy when I fitted some cheap brake pads in Bolivia so nung pumunta po siya ng Bolivia at saka bumilis po siya ng mumurahin yung chip brake so umiingay siya Kapa, umiingay siya umiingay yung bike niya so panghuli na po tayo recommended recommended hydraulic disc brake model so meron naman tayo dito disc brake model Shimano XT ito yung picture na pinapakita ko medyo <laughs> sa kanya sa kanya mga touring na uh, parang ano na siya na may, may, may mga madi na <laughs> so ito, ito po yung Shimano XP disc brakes are what I've been using since 2017 I lost more power to my rear caliper about 3 months into my adventures in Patagonia but was able to add new fluid which remedied the problem I suspect it wasn't bled properly from the factory since then I've been riding word chief water free with my XT XT's I usually bleed them every 12 months or so and get anywhere from 1,000 km to 10,000 km out of a set of brake pads. Shimano brake pads for XT brakes are very common everywhere in the world, which is great if you're on the road for a long time. So, ito pang iba. Hydraulic use brake na Magura MT7 or MT5. It's recommended by Lohan, uh, Johan Gurgub from Bike Wanderer. He originally had problems with his Shimano SLX brakes and switched to Magura, which have since worked solidly in the remote terrain he rides. If you need more reassurance, Koga also expects the touring bike with the Magura MT5 brakes. But just make sure you stock up on pads as you definitely won't be finding replacements in many bike shops. So, yet for sure, Achika recommended mechanical disc brake models. So, dalawa ito. Ito po yung TRP spike or TRP spike for drop bar na mga bikes. Gravel or road. Are my preferred mechanical disc brakes at both brake pads. Cleverly pull it together like a hydraulic caliper while some people think they lack power. I've never found this. But then again, I've always used them with larger rotors. ERP uses Shimano B01S brake pads. ERP uses Shimano B01S brake pads, which are readily available around the world. Mended mechanical disc brake models. So, number two, ito po yung Avid BBC, BB7 Mountain or BB7 Road. These brakes have been around for decades and I personally use them on multiple bikes. They have a decent amount of power and you can easily adjust the cable tension by turning the red knob. Tram brake pads are pretty common around the world too. So, dito lang po nagtatapos yung at aking vlog sa ngayon. So, ito pang huli, question. May question po ako at saka, may question po ako at kailangan nyo po itong sagutin. At saka i-comment nyo po below kung ano. Okay, ito po yung, ito po yung question ko. Uh, ito po yung question niya. Do you agree that hydraulic brakes are the way forward para sa mga bisikleta? Katulad na lang ng mountain bikes? Okay, yun po ang aking sagot. So, ulitin ko po ang question. 
do you agree that hydraulic brakes are the way forward or mountain bike? So, comment down below kung, kung ito na ba yung future po ng mga mountain bikes, itong hydraulic brake. So, kung nagustuhan nyo po itong vlog ko ngayon, nirisus ko po pa pala ito para po sa makaalaman nyo para meron din po kayong konting nalalaman about sa mga bike. So, hindi lang po sa pag-review na mga hindi lang po sa pag-review ng mga bike parts, katulad lang ng handlebar, frame, cassette, cogs, hub, chainstay, drivetrain, iba pa, at saka yun po lahat mga brakes. So, hindi lang po ganun. Research po ito, at ito po yung aking channel. Na, ito lang po yung channel ko, Anatex Texas, ang gumagawa po ng ganitong kakaibang vlogs na kinakuha ko rin sa mga sources doon sa internet sa Google. So, I will link down below yung I will link down below po yung link po ng website na ito. Yung cycling, I think yung cycling about natalimutan ko. Check mo. Okay, cycling about po. Cycling about na website at saka meron din sila itong YouTube channel. So, yun po guys, yun po yung aking vlog ngayon. Sana po magustuhan nyo po at meron din po kayong kaalaman about eh, sa mga iba pang mga bisikleta at saka iba pang mga kaalaman na hindi, hindi pa natin alam at hindi nyo pa alam. At dito na yan, at dito nyo lang po ito masasaksihan po dito sa aking channel na na text section. Sana po magustuhan nyo yung vlog, vlog ko ngayon. Thank you so much for watching. Ako mo ako ng Plus Rounder at ako po ang The Tech Cyclist. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell below para ma-notify kayo parati sa mga upcoming future videos dito sa channel ko. So guys, kita-kita po tayo sa susunod na video. Thank you so much for watching. Respect to all. One love and peace out.